What's up guys, welcome to your 21st playthrough tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering else and else if statements. Now in the last tutorial I told you guys, alright, an if statement is pretty much a test and if the test is true, do this, but if it's false, don't do anything. Well in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to execute a piece of code if it's false. So this is called the else syntax and let me show you guys how this works literally the easiest thing you're ever going to learn in your life just go ahead and write else semicolon then write your test condition so in, in uh, excuse me this test condition if fish equals bass we're going to write this is a might as well write bass right there this is a bass all right else um print let's go ahead i don't know what this is so here's what's going to happen fish equals tuna right now it's going to test if it equals bass, which it doesn't. So it's not going to print this at all. So once it went through this option and saw that this wasn't false, or excuse me, this wasn't true, it's going to go to this. And this is kind of the default statement. So once it does this and this doesn't execute, you're going to give it another choice. Do this instead. So this is pretty much, if this is true, do this, else do this instead. That's what else is short for. So let's go ahead and press F5, save it, run it and see what we get it's, again I was, it's going to say I don't know what this is so this is from the last tutorial don't mind that so it's going to say I don't know what this is and let's see why that was one more time fish is equal to tuna we test if it equals the bass right here if it was equal to bass it would print this but it's not equal to bass so you're, by default it's going to print this now let's say you wanted a way to test if fish was equal to something besides um, bass or tuna or trout or, or salmon in a bunch of different ways well instead of just having one choice and then a default we can give it multiple choices so to do this you use something called the else if statement and this is the second easiest thing you're ever about to learn and the syntax for that is ELIF and that's short for else if but you have to type it like that so um, what you do is just like an if statement, you give it another test condition. So instead of saying bass, if fish is equal to um, salmon, well, not <laughs> not slamming. Well, let's put slamming. Why not? If fish is equal to slamming, go ahead and put your semicolon and print. Um, I hope I don't get slamonella poisoning. I hope I don't get slam onilla poisoning good enough so and uh, let's give it one more else else if just for fun e l i f if fish is equal to might as well make this one true tuna put your colon what are we gonna print let's put easy there tuna boat so here's what's gonna happen we're going to test what fish is equal to, which is tuna. It's going to say, first I'm going to test it the bass. It's false, so I'm not going to run this piece of code at all. Next, I'm going to test it to salmon or slamming. It's false, so I'm not going to run this piece of code at all. Next, I'm going to test it to tuna. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at what we got here, a true statement. So I'm going to print this right here. Easy there, tuna boat. So let's see what happens. Press F5 and run it it says easy there tuna boat so pretty much the only condition that was true is this so the only block of code it ran was this but if we change this say um, spelled that wrong then it's gonna run through all these options and it's gonna come to your else statement so change this tuna to something else like trout and then type F5 and it's gonna say I don't know what this is and what happened in this case is it ran through all of these none of these tests bass salmon trout were true it was actually tuna so it went to your default so again this is your syntax for your else if which is pretty much more ifs and your else which is pretty much is if all of this is false then you're going to want to run this so that is your quick two dollar tutorial on the else statement and else if statements in python um, we're going to be using these a lot later on, so uh, get used to it. Pra excuse me, practice the syntax and practice um, the short program, 
And uh, once you get good at it, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you then.